Welcome to Solutions from Science. I'm Brian Brody, and what a kickoff we've had to 2010. In the opening 20 days of January alone, we've appeared on over 18 live television news segments. NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, WGN, The History Channel, The Weather Channel, even Fox News National. Hundreds of thousands of impressions spreading the word of solutions from science and self-reliance. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the clips. Very now, much. last we saw you, you, you had this rig going, and now this year you're, you're pulling, uh, you, you call this your home office, this is your office, and that's your home? I, that's what I say, I pull, <laughs> my, uh, I pull my home with my office. Honest, Charlie, I just needed more roof space. As you know, I took up all the top mm -hmm. of the space on the landscaper. So here, now I have five 150-watt solar panels, two wind turbines, an idea that first came to me here in Tampa. I saw the wind turbines on a boat, couldn't figure out why I couldn't put it on an RV, designed the brackets, and we've been off to the races. The rest of it, all the power through the rig comes down through those two two sources into what's called a solar generator. Right inside, everything's powered off the national energy the wind and the sun. Yeah, show me some of these features that you've got on your, your uh, trailer. Well, in addition to being great for RVs, it's also when you think of the stories that we're reporting this morning out of Haiti, that people don't have electrical power, they don't have water. This is a generator that I use from Solutions from Science. I actually use the power of the sun to heat my water, to power everything I need. So if I don't have electricity coming from an outside source, I know I'll be okay. You may consider camping out in an RV, roughing it, but the one we stepped on board today has everything you would need to survive and a few modern luxuries that you may not even have at home. If you lose your power, you lose your water, you lose your ability to keep your food cold or the like, would you be able to survive? Survival expert Brian Brody travels around the country to show people how to survive in the face of a natural disaster. He's hitting the road on a 48-state tour in his custom RV. It's powered by wind and solar energy. He got the idea to build it while working as a journalist in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Seeing how unprepared people were for a natural disaster, he wanted to do something to help them. They lose their power, their water, their food, their security, their ability to just have a normal, you know, things you and I might take for, things I suspect we would all take for granted. Amenities like clean water, internet, and air conditioning, all here on the bus. Tuesday, Brody stopped off at Sarasota Military Academy to let students step on board to see the mobile wonder for themselves. Pretty cool how he actually grabbed all the solar power and the, and the wind turbines and everything to adjust to nature like that. I didn't expect the big screen TV at all. During Brody's demonstrations, he talks about his certification in wilderness first aid and gives audiences tips on how to customize their homes to make them more energy efficient. Survival through self-reliance. You know, the question I ask all the time is, when you can't call on anyone else, can you call on yourself? Well, there you have it, a wrap-up of some of the buzz surrounding the Power Source and the Power Hub 1800 from Solutions from Science.